Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meet Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to find how to solve some whereby they are asking us to find Jensen's alpha under the subject risk management. This is the second type or second variation of sum in which they are asking us to find the alpha. The first type has already been uploaded. So if not watch, see that you will even watch that particular video. So let us see how to solve some based on alpha Jensen. Okay, now this is the second type of sum where they are asking us to, us to find the alpha when they are giving you a little different kind of a data. Okay, now in this sum, they have given us dividend distributed, capital appreciation, opening NAV and beta. They are asking us to ascertain the alpha of the three schemes. So we have ABC. Government bond carries some percentage. Now remember any security by the government or RBI is always your risk free return. And they are giving you nifty that is your market. Market return has been given. Uh, risk free return has been given. The beta has been given. And they are asking us to find the alpha using. So alpha we will have to basically use Jensen's formula. Two parts are there to solve it. Step number one. You need to calculate the expected return under CAPM and secondly you need to find the Jensen's alpha. Now you will first start with finding the expected return under CAPM for all the three schemes. Okay, So we will start with first A limited I mean for the shares of A. So expected return for A for A risk free return given in the question is the government bond that is 6.84 plus beta now beta for a is 1.46 into market return that is your nifty minus the risk free return that is 6.84 so now we will first subtract, multiply and then add it to 6.84. So the answer will come approximately 14.56%. Similarly for B, so this is for A. For B, again risk free risk return will be 6.84. The beta is 1.10. And the difference between the market and your risk free return market is 12.13 that is your nifty your risk free return is 6.84 again we need to do the same thing we need to first subtract multiply with the beta and add it to your risk free return and you will get the value approximate around 12.66% Similarly for company C or scheme C 6.84 plus the beta is 1.40 market return was 12.13 minus 6.84 again you subtract multiply add and your expected return should be approximately 14.25 percent simple okay just need to uh, note down the formula substitute the value and you will get your expected return. Now let us go to the second part where we need Jensen's alpha. The formula is actual return minus expected return. Now if you look at the question, they have given you dividend, capital appreciation, opening NAV, beta, but they haven't given you actual return. Expected return, we have already found that, but we haven't been given actual return. So now we'll have to first find the actual return. So this is the second type of sum where actual return is not given to us. So now let us see how we solve and get that value of actual return. Now remember actual return ka formula is total return upon opening NAV okay actual return ka formula is total return upon opening NAV opening NAV is given to us and total return directly isn't given so we need to first find that okay we'll have to first find that so now let us see how to get that value
now so what i'll write here actual return of a b and c okay i'll just note I'll leave a little space so that we can solve it and get those value now i need to find the total return okay now total return ka formula now for for company or for scheme a total return ka formula you can keep it simple is like dividend which has been given plus the capital which has been appreciated okay so that will be a basically a total return so i'll note it here it's nothing but dividend which has been distributed plus the capital which has been appreciated so for a it was 1.75 plus 2.97 that is dividend plus capital appreciation you add up and uh, so i'll write here appreciation okay so which comes to approximately 1.75 2.97 that will come to rupees 4.72 similarly for b it would have been now dividend is not available so it will be 0 plus 3.53 so the value is the same 3.53 for c it would be 1.30 plus 1.99 which comes to rupees 3.29 Okay, and opening any visa given to us directly, so that's not an issue. So for A, now let us see the actual return. So total return that is four point seven two divided by opening NAV that was thirty two, and we'll just add up here. That's into hundred. Okay, so it will be into hundred. So the value will come to fourteen point seven five percent. Same way for B. it will be 3.53 divided by the opening nav is 27.15 so 27.15 into 100 return will come to around 13% and for c it was 3.29 divided by 23.50 into 100 which will come to around 14% okay so we have now found the actual return for all the three schemes so now we can use it and get our final alpha ka value so a ka alpha is actual return that was 14.75 minus expected return that is 14.56 the difference is our uh, alpha so the value is 0.19% same way for b the actual was 13% minus the expected that is 12.66 so the difference come to 0.34% same way for c the actual was 14% minus 14.25 difference is 0.25% ka so with this Uh, we have found the alpha of all the three. So, looking at it, the one which is the highest is the most preferred, you know, investment. Following with uh, the other two, okay. So, the most preferred one will be your portfolio B or your investment or your security B, depending on whatever they have given you in the question. So, B is the best option. It has outperformed the other two. So, this is how you have to solve the sum based on. finding alpha when they give you you know they give you all the values except the actual return and it is not for multiple years the first type of sum have had multiple years this is without multiple years with this different you know uh, scripts which are given to you or different security that have been given to you so this is a second type of sum where they will ask you to find alpha or second variant of alpha i hope everyone have understood this there is one more type which will be covered up in the next video so see that you all even see that particular video with that we'll be ending this video here thank you